don't like being involved in people's dramas and I don't like when people like to involve me when I have nothing to do with it. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to be quite different. As you can see my setting, I'm on my bed. I just wanted to be like a chill vibe talking to you guys like heart to heart. This is going to be my last video of the year. But to be honest with you guys also, I also might not make as many videos as I used to. Only because um, as you guys know, I'm in law school and it's really hard to balance the two. I've been trying my best to upload videos every week and I've been really, really consistent with that. But now I think that I will still try my best to upload every week, but if it's not every week, it'll be every other week or so. But I must say thank you so much to everyone who has supported me, okay? Thank you for being consistent, watching my videos. Like I say, like I do YouTube for fun. I try to, you know, show you guys the things that I like, my interests and stuff. But at the same time, it's nice to have um, some type of, you know, like, how do you say it? In French, it's a reconnaissance, but I don't know. I'll write down the word here, you guys. Oh, by the way, I'm bilingual, so anyway. <laughs> if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you need to go ahead and do that right now. But on Instagram, I had asked you guys a series of questions, and I was interested to know what your answers would be. And to be honest with you, I didn't think that a lot of people would answer at all because... I don't know I just find that like I don't know like and not a lot of people like to answer these things or whatever but a lot of you guys did I got a lot of answers so I'm gonna try my best to say all the answers that I got um, but yeah this should be interesting so sit back go get yourself a cup of tea or a glass of wine or veggie wine whatever it is that you want <laughs> and sit back and let's talk. Okay, so thinking back on 2020 I was really curious in knowing what's like a regret that people have in life okay so I had asked the question what's something you regret doing and I got a lot of answers <laughs> okay so somebody said actually have no regrets just lesson learned um, I agree with that um, I think that everything we do in life has a has a lesson to it like there's I you guys like I said like I am NOT one to judge I've done some stupid things in my life okay but like I said everything that I've done in my life I guess I, I have learned from it so I understand what the whole you don't have any regrets just lesson learned however I do think that we're only human right so there are things that we will regret doing like there are things that we'll look back and be like oh why did I do that you know what I mean but that's a really good answer I definitely agree with that somebody said being too nice and trusting and getting it on in the end um, I agree with you a hundred percent uh, if you know me, if you know my character, I find that I am very nice to people and I find that people take that to their advantage. Um, especially in the past few years, I find that being nice honestly has been not really my downfall because to be honest with you, I'm not going to change for anyone. I am who I am and I find that, but I find that there are some people who are not, I'm not going to say as nice, but who don't have like the perky nice to everyone attitude. So they see my niceness as a weakness, right? But also in a sense, what they don't know is, like I'm not stupid, okay, like, <laughs> You know what I mean? I might be nice and hi or whatever, but I know I'm, I know my place with everyone in my life. I know I know my place. I know who's who has my back, who doesn't have my back. So I definitely agree with you. You and I both like this whole like being too nice situation and getting shit on at the end. I think that you just have to know your place with people. You don't stop being nice. Like I will never stop being nice to people. It's just who I am. I don't think you should change that, but just know your place with everyone in life and it will be much easier for you. Neglecting God out of embarrassment and resentment. That is so deep. That is so deep because I get you. I get you a hundred percent. 
I've done some stupid stuff in my life that I, I felt like I couldn't even go talk to God about it. You know what I mean? And that's like, you're just embarrassed. You know what I mean? So you just try to run away from it. You just try to run away from God thinking, okay, if I don't talk to him about it, then I don't have to like, you know, confront it or I don't know. But I definitely understand what you mean. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm Christian. So I do believe in God and I believe that you should never be afraid to go talk to God about whatever it is that you're going through. So never be embarrassed about anything because number one, he already knows what you did. Number two, he's the only one who can give you peace about what you did. So yeah. Somebody said hesitating to start my business. Honestly, I am pro do what you want to do, okay? Do what makes you happy. No second guess yourself. Like, if you want to do something, if you want to start a business, go ahead and do it. The worst that can happen is that it doesn't work out. But how will you know if you don't try? You know what I mean? It's just like even this YouTube thing that I'm doing. I, I've wanted to do this for years, for years and years, but I was always like, ah, uh, no one's gonna watch me and you know, it's not gonna be successful, no one's gonna follow me or whatever. But you know what, I just told myself, you know what, I'm doing this because I want to and it's fun. So just go for it. Honestly, if you want to start a business, go for it. And I'm pretty sure if you did start your business or if you do want to start your business, you're not going to regret it. Okay, somebody said not using this, look, this lockdown to start healthier eating habits. Yeah, so for me personally, um, I started jogging every morning when this lockdown first started with COVID-19 and I was at my healthiest. However, the weather outside wasn't good anymore, like it started to get really cold. So I stopped running and I realized that I've been gaining so much weight. I don't know what's going on you guys, but I've been gaining so much weight and it's so hard to eat healthy. So I feel you. It's hard to eat healthy when you're home all day. Like you just want to snack on everything or whatever. Um, the best advice I can give you is find fruits that you love or find a vegetable that you love and just try your best to snack on that. Stay away from the, the aisles at the grocery store that have like a whole bunch of junk because like honestly summer is coming okay and we all want that sexy summer body 2021. Okay so somebody said not knowing my limits that one new year's party vomit everywhere. <laughs> listen I feel you okay because listen my friend got married this summer. Um, beautiful wedding, beautiful bride, amazing groom. I'm so happy for her. Anyways, so she got married this summer and I was a bridesmaid and the bridesmaids decided to do a wine tasting, okay? I've never been an alcohol person. I personally hate alcohol. Um, even if when I go to restaurants, like I always take like a virgin, I don't know, virgin mojito or virgin pina colada or whatever, right? So I, when they said, oh, we're doing a wine tasting, I'm like, you know what, let me just go with the flow. Okay, it won't be too bad. It's just a wine tasting. Like you're just tasting. There's no way you can get drunk, okay? And then my friend, okay, you know who you are. She made me taste a whole bunch of different stuff, okay? So not only was it the wine tasting, but like I guess it was leftovers after. So I, like both of us were just drinking, drinking, drinking. And let me tell you, I thought I was okay because as I'm drinking it, I'm like, oh, I don't feel anything. No, it creeped up on me, okay? They're creepers, okay? And not only that, but I think it's also because there was like a mix of like champagne or something. I don't know, okay? But, and I drank on an empty stomach. So let me tell you guys, I was mashed up. And ever since then, I don't want to hear the word alcohol. I don't want to hear the word wine. I'm, I, even right now, I'm just like, ugh. So I get you when you're like, you didn't know your limit. That's your regret. Me too. My regret is I didn't know my limit, okay? Because if I had it my way, I would have never gotten that drunk. It was horrible. It was horrible. <laughs> uh, somebody said, dating a dude not worth my time. You are not the only one and I'm pretty sure there's like a thousand people millions of people who feel the same way as you okay um, personally for me I dated before my fiance I would say that um, it's not that it was a waste of time 
I've learned a lot from my past relationships, but you know, when you think back on like what you've been through, you're kind of like, what a waste of time. Like, so I get it. I get, I completely get it. Somebody said, should have left some friendships at high. Listen, I find that like as you grow older, the meaning of friendship is just so much deeper than what people think, you know? And also it's not everybody that I can be friends with because people just don't get me. Like, I say this all the time in almost all my videos. Like, I'm not a phone person. If you text me, I might text you three days later, unless you're dying or something. Like, there are some friendships that are really high maintenance. Like, if you don't message them like every week or every month, like, you guys are not friends. Like, no, I will message you happy birthday and happy new year, okay? And that should be enough for you. And if it's not, then I think that explains why I don't have much friends. <laughs> but yeah, um, no, friendships, I don't know. There's just so much people expect from friendships. Like, this whole loyalty thing too, like, okay. Like, uh, don't you guys, don't crucify me for, for my opinion, eh? But for me personally, I find it so weird when people expect you to because they don't like someone they expect you not to talk to them either i find that so weird because i don't know like huh like you are your own individual some people don't get me wrong like and honestly this is just me like you guys stop this is my opinion okay it's not immature i mean not immature but it's kind of it's not me okay if you don't like someone or if you're in an argument with someone Please don't involve me in it, okay? Because when you decide that, like, let's say that you guys squash your beef or whatever, let's say that I stop talking to that person because you don't like them, that is, like, how stupid do I look? What am, now that you like them, am I gonna be like, oh, hey, or whatever? Like, but then again, like, I think it depends on, like, the level of relationship that you have with people. Like, I think that a lot of people who aren't ride or die for me expect me to be ride or die for them. Like, we're not chummy, chummy, chummy. So, your enemies are not my enemies. That sounds, that may sound bad to a lot of people, but I'm just, I'm being real with you guys. And if any of you guys share that opinion, like, let me know. Because I'm so not for this whole, like, oh, I don't like her, so you can't like her either. It's like, what do I have to do with this situation? Like, what? Unless it's something bad, like they killed you or, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know like I just I don't like being involved in people's dramas and I don't like when people like to involve me when I have nothing to do with it like when I say nothing nothing to do with it like let me live in peace anyways okay so now I had also asked some of you guys what's the worst thing somebody did to you somebody said put hands on me stole from me cheated and this could be a whole video by itself okay i've been through that the whole putting your hands on someone i am just so against men putting their hands like it i'm just so against that whole that whole idea okay and for me personally when it did happen to me it was a shock because i never in my i never in my life thought that that would ever happen to me that is the worst thing sometimes it feels like that's the worst thing that can happen to you but i find that like when you start to find your worth you realize you know what like that wasn't even worth your time like let them do what they did okay but as soon as you leave you realize you know what there's worse things that can happen like not having good credit or you know what i mean like that's the way i thought about it because there are literally people who are just not worth your time you did what you did to me kudos good luck to the next person who has you because i'm not about that life anymore okay so somebody said lied when they had no reason to you guys i know some pathological liars who believe their own lies like are you really gonna like i have proof and you're really gonna lie to me why are you what is the point of lying like are you five <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah i understand how that could be like the worst thing somebody did to you because I find that lying is just unnecessary what are you scared of I like I know especially when you know the truth anyways so it's like why lie why lie so yeah I get it guys I need to put up my back my posture Ooh, my back's killing um somebody said shared a false narrative of my first sexual encounter with people who didn't know me 
Oh my gosh, that is the worst thing ever, okay? I find that like there's like levels of disrespect. It just sucks. Like sometimes you just have to take the L and know that whoever wants to believe all of like everything that they're saying too bad okay let them believe what they want to believe you know your truth and that's it like you just have to be like okay whoever wants to believe this person about whatever it is let them believe it those people weren't for you anyways okay and i find that people are insecure in their own life so they always try to like make up stuff about people so that attention can be on something else you know what i mean but no, I completely understand. That is one of the worst things that somebody can do. You, do. you just have to do your best and put your head up and leave that in your past. Okay, somebody said, told my private bedroom business to family and friends. Oh gosh, why are people so wicked? This is why I'm such a, like I try my best for people just not to know my business. And the best thing you can do is not to be too trusting with people. And that might sound bad, but Sometimes you, you find yourself in a vulnerable spot where you feel like you can open up to somebody and tell them, you know, like personal, personal stuff about your life. But I'm a strong believer in, honestly, like get a diary or something. Like I know it, it sounds like, oh, but that's what friends are for or whatever. But everyone is flawed. Every, like we're just human. Some people might talk about your business without even meaning to talk about your business. Like, Everyone's talking about something and will be like, oh yeah, so and so went through that too and this and that, you know what I mean? Like, And some people chat. Let me tell you, some people love to chat. You just have to let that, like, just don't tell people your business, period. I wanted to know what's one thing 2020 has taught you, okay? We need a lot less material things and a lot more of the t intangibles. I completely agree with you. Material things are nothing. Like, it's nice to have the brands, it's nice to have the cars, it's nice to have, I don't know, even something as small as, I don't know, video games or, or you know, the brand new laptop or whatever. That's not the most important thing, okay? But at the same time, I find that everyone is different in the sense of, I've been reading a lot about love languages, and there are some people that material things are like, their thing, right? But I find personally for me, like my love language is words of affirmation. I don't know how to describe, like somebody telling me they love me is much more important than somebody buying me the world. You know what I mean? And I think that 2020 has taught that to us. Somebody said live every day like it's your last. And I completely agree with that statement. I mean, I almost lost my sister this year. Out of nowhere, she, she had cancer. What, what is she, 32 I think? 32 years old, she breast cancer and we almost lost her you know what i mean god saved her thank god um but who would have known you know what i mean so like if you're saying oh i want to start doing this but you know what i'll just wait till next year or whatever you don't know if you'll be there next year you can walk out the door and the car hits you and you're gone like just live every day like it's your last so i agree with that somebody said perseverance that is probably the the motto of 2020. You have to persevere through it all. Somebody said self-love and family first and always after God. The mustard seed life. I couldn't have said it better myself. God always comes first, okay? And everything after. I know that it's really hard sometimes to put God first in everything, but if you do, I promise you it's rewarding you'll just see how life just flows nicely. Please excuse my accent because I am not Jamaican or Trini or whatever. <laughs> I'm Haitian, okay? So I don't speak like this type of thing, but okay. Somebody said money for make. Money for make. For make? Why are you guys judging me? I'm not, I'm Haitian, okay? <laughs> but yes, there is money to be made, okay? I think that's what it means. There is definitely money to be made. I agree with you 100%. I think that 2020 has, has taught people, like, if you wanna start your side hustle, go ahead and start your, your side hustle. People are supporting small businesses right now, so go ahead and go for it.
all right and that's it for today uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video to everyone that I didn't answer your questions I'm really sorry it's just I really didn't want this video to be too long but thank you to everyone who participated and took the time out to message me your answers and yeah I hope that you guys have an amazing new year be safe everyone and thank you so much to everyone who supported my YouTube I'll see you guys in the new year